Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another movie review on Solo, a Star Wars story. I watched this movie last night at 10.15pm at the Tanferan Movie Theater. I saw it in 3D, XD. It was a family occasion as Star Wars is a family thing for me and uh, my dad. Uh, my brother was there, my cousin Carlos was there, his friend Dom was there. Uh, all five of us watched the movie. Uh, they came in late <laughs> and kind of uh, interrupted like one scene at the beginning of the movie. Uh, I liked the 3D, but I don't really feel like it was totally necessary for this movie. I love the XD sound, so the XD room in Theater 11 over at Tan Fran, that was great. I gotta say though, it was really weird because I saw Deadpool last week, a few weeks before that, Avengers Infinity War. The place was packed. That's kind of like the time I usually watch these movies. Um, just because I get out of work at 9 p.m. So a lot of time, except for Avengers Infinity War, I was able to get out uh, work a lot earlier to be able to make it, but um, the, to the 7 o'clock one. So it was really weird to see a uh, house not really packed. It wasn't really full of a lot of people, which was really, really weird for me. So I was kind of like, oh, this is kind of, this is kind of frightening, a little bit of a bummer, you know what I mean? But all right, you know, I did watch one review uh, before going into it. You guys know I'm a Jeremy Johns fan. I love the Jeremy Johns movie reviews. I saw his review, and luckily for me, I didn't really let that review affect me. And he didn't really give any spoilers or anything in his video. It's just that I didn't want my opinion uh, to be skewed because of somebody else's review, and I'm going to try to do that in this video. So thus, I'm going to go non-spoilers, and then I'm going to get into spoilers. I'm just going to talk about my, my favorite, my five favorite things, and my five things that I dislike the most about the movie. But um, for a brief non-spoiler review, so no worries on the spoilers right now, uh, I got to say, uh, Elden uh, Enrich, Enrich, he sold me for a, a young Han Solo. He actually... I personally felt like I was watching a young Han Solo, so I, th I think the actor did a good job of portraying the character. Um, I also liked the supporting cast a lot, and I did not necessarily feel like any supporting cast members overshadowed Han Solo. It didn't make me feel like, oh, I wish this was a somebody else movie instead. No, I felt all the supporting cast played their important roles in being supporting characters. So I liked that. I didn't want to think that I wish the movie was about somebody else. I, I really was in it for a solo movie, and that's what I got. Um, and then I liked the... I liked the story for an action-adventure movie. I thought that worked. I thought the story that I saw, I thought it was pretty good. I have some gripes about it, which I'll get into in the spoilers section. Um, and then there are parts of the movie that did feel slow to me. Uh, slow enough to really skew my opinion of the whole movie. Uh, there are some slow parts. So, I'm going to get into the spoilers now. I hope that's enough to give you an idea of what to expect here. I mean, the movie really landed in the middle for me more than anything else. It, it was like, all right, I like I liked the movie more than I thought I would, or a little bit more than I, you know, at, at least around the area of where I hoped I would, but was disappointed in a way where I was like, oh, I really wish I didn't feel disappointed. So, kind of in the middle right there, about a C. B minus kind of grade. All right, all right. On to the spoilers. All right, here we go. You've been warned. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, spoiler section. Here we go. The five good things, and I'm actually going to list more than five things because uh, I, I thought of more stuff. But uh, I'm going to say again, Han Solo. I really liked Han Solo a lot. Uh, not only did I like the the character's portrayal, but the the way the character was written, I felt like we actually saw some good character development. I liked the relationships between Han. I felt like what made it Han Solo to me was really, I mean, the the fact that we see him with Kara at the beginning, and there's this whole young love kind of Bonnie and Clyde thing going on, like, that totally would be Han Solo. That's, like, really what I imagined for a young Han Solo. So it sold it for me. I like that part. I also like that whole speed chase, the, the speed uh, pod, uh, this land speeder chase scene. I thought that was cool. I liked how it was a different model than Luke's. 
Uh, I like the supporting cast, uh, Woody, Kara, uh, Chewie, and Lando. I can't remember Woody Harrelson's characters' names. But yeah, those supporting characters I really liked. I liked Chewie, of course. I mean, yeah, but I thought good supporting cast. I thought everybody did a really good job. I loved Sabak. I love watching the Sabak games. That, that delivered for me, you know, the, hearing those stories about the Sabak games. Uh, I, I thought that was great. Um, I also like the visuals. Really, really great action scenes. Again, the 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 the, the uh, I keep wanting to say speed racer, um, but the land speeder scene. Again, I like that whole thing in the clouds. I like seeing like the star destroyer and everything in the clouds and, and seeing it getting built. Uh, I like that whole you know that that path through the warp drive stuff. Uh, a, a lot of yeah, th there is a lot of good action scenes and a lot of really good visuals in this movie that really kept me entertained. So I did like the action in this. Um, I also want to say I really like Paul Bettany in this. I thought he was really good too. I like how he had that whole scar thing that would kind of like light up when he he'd get all pissed off. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought he was a pretty cool villain. I liked him, uh, and I and I like that whole thing with Kara and everything. Like I never really felt like I could totally trust her. You know, but. You really want to so th that made me feel like I was like really in the movie I liked that part of it and then um, I like the aged look of the movie too the cinematography was really good I really felt like it fit in line with the rest of the Star Wars or the, with the Star Wars original films kind of like how Rogue One did I thought that was very cool so I like that I thought that was pretty nifty and um, yeah, overall, you know, it had some really fun parts, but I'm going to get into the bad stuff right now. I only have, oh, another thing I really liked, because I thought of it later on, Darth Maul. I thought Darth Maul was cool. That upset some people, especially the dude sitting behind me, uh, pissed off. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, the hell. I was like, oh, dude, this is actually cool, because I like the Rebel show. Also, I have read the Maul comics, so in my head Maul with the android legs and the waist down and everything is canon Star Wars so to finally see Darth Maul come back in a Star Wars movie actually made me really happy and I felt like the character just fit perfectly of how he looked in Rebels but this is he's in hologram form but live action I, it made me happy to see I really liked Maul a lot now again I'm not talking about every single thing in this whole movie I liked the whole train scene but th there's a lot of stuff I liked but I want to get onto the stuff that I didn't like all right so uh, every freaking scene while I did like the action scenes I felt like every single one of them was predictable as hell like I <sighs> Like, I felt like I had to shut my brain off to a degree where it, it was like I almost felt jaded or something by it. Like, I was like, oh, are they going to do it? Yeah. They, they did it. That's how I felt. So <laughs> like I almost didn't care. I didn't really feel like there was any real stakes on the table. I, I, I heard the music get intense. You know, I saw the close-ups, you know, for the intense you know, feeling of uh, the suspense of the characters and everything, but I just didn't really... I felt like I, I'd seen all these scenes before, you know? And I, not that they stole it from any particular Star Wars scene from this or that. I'm just saying, just overall, it's like, oh, yeah, I knew they were going to get... Like that wormhole thing, right? I mean, I do like that, you know, the hyperdrive just kind of fails and they go straight in. You know, that was kind of neat. That was like the one time I felt like... I got a little bit of a juke, but then that was it, you know? I, I, I didn't say I didn't want any jukes, I'm just saying no double jukes. See, Star Wars, The Last Jedi had way too many double jukes. Can't double juke too much like that, but single jukes I think are fine. And I could have used some more single jukes in this one. It, it was just too predictable. I, I felt, again, I, I don't need to repeat myself with that. Also, the endless ending. Oh my god! Uh, I was like, I want to leave. Shut up. Shut up. I'm done hearing you. I'm done. Like, I really felt it, it took me back to like the days when my mom would make me go with her shopping for clothes. And uh, a little kid, and I'm like, I don't even want to get out of here. Like, that's a hell of a I felt like, like I hella want to leave now. I hella want to go. Now, keep in mind, I'm tired, right? I get out of work at 9 o'clock. So it's, you know, it's at the end of the long day and everything like that, but dude, I shouldn't feel that way. Like Deadpool 2, that felt like that was like, a, a, 
It felt like it was an hour-long movie, but it was about, like, what, less than two hours? This movie goes for two hours and 15 minutes, and it feels like it's three and a half hours long. I was like, dude, the last 25% of the movie, it's like, chop it off, man. I'm done. Like, really, let me go. And what really felt like it was lasting forever are these extended crane shots. And I like dramatic crane shots. I wish I had a gimbal so I can make some crane shots myself. I think they're beautiful, especially when you come over a horizon and it's all slow. And if you got people walking away into the distance, great. I like them. They're beautiful. But when it's time to wrap it up, the story's over, and you really feel like there's no place left for this movie to go, I don't need to see slow angled shots. I, dude, let's let's wrap this let's wrap this shit up and get out of here, man. And it, it just didn't. It's like it didn't want to end. It just like it just really didn't want to end. And I wanted them to let me leave, and they wouldn't let me leave. That's how it felt. It was that bad. It, it was pretty frustrating. So that's so that part of it just really sucked. And what really really sucked for me, I, I, what I really didn't like was the tie-in into the Rebel Alliance. Like Han Solo's not about it, right? Like we know that about a young Han Solo. He's not for any kind of resistance or rebels. He's out for a, one guy, and that's me, right? And. And, and, and the character stays that way, but I just felt like this movie didn't need to, like, steer me into another Star Wars movie. And that's why I felt like they are doing it. I felt like they are kind of like... Like, in Rogue One, it worked out really well. Rogue One worked out beautifully, and I thought they, they killed it. You know, you could not like the CG Princess Leia, whatever, but... The way they kind of meandered us into A New Hope, that was beautifully done. I felt like they were trying to kind of do that, but like, I didn't want that at all. I just liked this being separate. It's in the same galaxy and everything as the Star Wars universe that I know, but I don't need any connection to the Resistance for this particular character, because he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a shit, neither do I. I don't need to know about the Resistance or the rebe or the Rebellion too much. I know it happens already. I've heard enough about it. Don't need to hear about it again. And they had to give it to us. And I'm like, oh, man. So, it's like, so that was all kind of just being thrown in there at the end. On top of that, with it just being too long. The movie didn't need to be two hours and 15 minutes. All right? That's a little bit rude, Ron Howard. Too long, dude. All right? Howard? I don't know why I say it like that. But anyway... That's my rant review, you guys. I want to know what you think. And I didn't even list five things. It's just that the the never-ending Star Wars story just never ended. And that was just enough of a complaint for me to, like, to, to just boom, 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 boom. Just, like, knock it down some serious pegs. Like, I'm thinking again, like, I need to watch this again with my wife. My wife had to stay home and watch the baby. How am I supposed to watch this a second time, man? I gotta watch this again? So anyway, uh, all right. Hope you guys liked the video. Sorry, I am pretty tired. If you can tell, I'm just tired. Just woke up from a little nap. Baby's been keeping us up hours. A little bit weird, you know. Trying to make through, feeling a little loopy. I'm gonna open some figures. Got a really cool review coming at you guys for tomorrow. I'm gonna review Luke Skywalker, Kotobukiya Kia statue, and then tomorrow I have a Marvel figure. Uh, an import Marvel figure that I'll be reviewing too. Alright, catch you guys later. Let me know what you thought of the movie. Let me know what you think of this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.